Peace and blessings be upon you, dear viewers, welcome. And this night where we broadcast the fourth episode of the 10 days. In the first episode, we spoke about the 10 days and the importance of them and its status. And then we talked about the Takhliya and Tahliya. Yesterday, we spoke about those who remember Allah. And, and tonight, we're going to talk about uh, to talk about the actions of a Siddiq, and you can be able to watch uh, uh, this episode through Iqra, the Arabic channel, and the English and the French one. You can be able to participate through the hashtag uh, action of uh, the Siddiq's action, where you can see it on the screen. Your Eminence Tawfiq, welcome tonight and welcome to you and greetings to the viewers and uh, I would like to repeat my greetings and I may I supplicate to Allah that make them a blessed 10 days. Your Eminence, the days are speeding. We are at the fourth day and we regret if we had uh, lacked and during the uh, last four days without taking advantage of them. And let's link it to a deeper topic. Let's start with where we uh, remind ourselves with that uh, times uh, passed quickly. That's and this is how the age of the, the human, and that's why we have to remind continuously with the virtue and the merit of the war actions in those ten days, and there are no better actions than those been taken into those days. And Allah Akbar, Allah is the greatest, and there is no God but Allah, and thank be to Allah. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq is the, the topic of our episode. Let's talk about this uh, blessed companion. The actions of the Siddiq, or the ultimate honest in this episode, those actions were the, those or the Prophet were asked about about them. Those companions, a group of uh, uh, good companions that they benefit from his words. He said, peace be, up, be upon him. Whoever uh, ever started fasting since this day, he said, me, whoever followed the, uh, the funeral today, Abu Bakr said, me, whoever uh, give a charity or uh, fed a poor, it's me. Whoever uh, visited uh, a patient today, Abu Bakr said, me. The, another narration prophet said, and he was laughing loudly that this is uh, a cause for happiness that uh, one of his companions and uh, learned from his school uh, that they uh, submit to his uh, teachings. And this is the companion, as siddiq And who, whoever forgets siddiq he is the best companion of Prophet Muhammad and his successor and the most beloved one to uh, Prophet, peace be upon him, and he m let him make him his son-in-law. And also Amr al Abdul As said, he never looked at me without a smile. And he had an impression that he is the most beloved to the Prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, or or why, the, why this is the secret behind this smile? And this is the uh, path of Prophet Muhammad. And uh, he, uh, it was known that he is the most beloved one to the Prophet. And he was asked, who was the, best lo who, lo the most loved one? He said, Aisha. And then uh, among the men, and he said, Omar. And he said, who, who else? He said, Uthman. <laughs> and then he said, Bakr. Uh, Bakr is the most one most beloved person to Prophet Muhammad. And there are the two, two friends at the cave 
one is telling the other, don't, uh, uh, don't be sad. Allah is, uh, um, is looking over us. He said, don't be sad because, because his sadness w- would uh, uh, hurt and touches Prophet Muhammad's feeling. That's why he said, uh, he didn't tell him, don't be afraid, but don't be sad. Uh, Abu Bakr, y- you won't uh, find a lot of uh, translation like Omar's and not a lot of actions or, or like wor- works, to be more precise. But you will find uh, the testimony of Omar when he said, I have never been preceded Abu Bakr in action uh, that he would be there first. And uh, this is the true belief of uh, uh, companion Abu Sadiq. His actions had the biggest impact on uh, this belief. Uh, let's go back to the talk uh, about the hadith of uh, Prophet uh, Muhammad and his uh, Abu Bakr's uh, response. I'd like to remind the viewers that during these days, a lot of people fast, and there is there are other four actions uh, they can be able to conduct or undertake that is included in this hadith, fasting and, uh, and visiting the patient and giving, giving uh, charity and those are the actions. There, there are other actions. Uh, these are the easiest uh, actions they can be able to perform during those days, like fast and then uh, uh, follow the funeral and uh, give a charity. And uh, he can be the, uh, the people of the paradise. Does it have any certain, uh, does it indicate to anything? If you contemplate among these actions, the Prophet said, whoever started his day fasting, and this is uh, an attribute, whoever started the day by fasting, and he talked about uh, visiting the patient and giving alms and uh, uh, following the funeral. And whoever give up his desires, the uh, the w- the servant he doesn't fast but to earn Allah's acceptance and, ple- and pleasure. And uh, the urge for desires uh, will be at its lowest levels when it comes to performing those uh, actions. And there are other methods. What? Uh, uh, what we remember with which, which is the end of everybody which is death and like as the prophet said I uh, I prevented you from uh, visiting uh, uh, graves but it will remind you with your end you cannot be able to uh, to praise and forbidding the evil but he will come back from those graves with uh, a high urge and enthusiasm uh, to remind himself with the last day. And if he pursue in the field of action, and he will uh, pursue feeding the poor and uh, being generous and uh, giving alms and visiting the patients and follow, follow the funerals uh, or uh, looking up for their needs and his uh, invitations uh, for fasting, uh, it, is, uh, it helps uh, others or to help all of us to uh, go over the, take over the other actions. Uh, the, uh, the goodness of uh, even teaching, uh, teachings uh, will be uh, uh, talking about fasting more what are the merits of fasting and and how was uh, the prophet uh, used to fast the f- talking about fast is vast and is very wide topic like those words you have to fast 
because it is the best action. It will wipe and uh, uh, the mischiefs and the sins. Allah Almighty, Almighty, and glory, glory be to Him, says pertaining fast all actions belongs to uh, uh, the son of Adam except fasting which is for me and he was praising all those who used to leave their desires uh, for the sake of Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty he admits in his words uh, glory be to him that he is thankful even for those who uh, perform fasting and he was talking about uh, those uh, um, uh, undertook patience, and they were patient uh, uh, to perform fasting. And this is a great gate and portal of earning rewards. And uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad said that whoever uh, fasted, uh, Allah will um, make uh, the afflictions and the mischiefs uh, uh, a distance uh, of 70 years and also then another saying that the distance will be like the distance between earth and heaven Allah he made uh, fasting as one of the highest uh, uh, actions that are rewarded uh, multiply the prophet said th three days of, of every month is like fasting for eternity uh, it's like he fasted the whole year so fasting has a lot of impl uh, implied a lot of uh, rewards and, uh, and then uh, for example but prayers uh, you will uh, uh, you will uh, perform it for 10 15 minutes and then will, you will wait for the next uh, action but when uh, when you start sahur, which is beginning of the fasting during the day, uh, the the uh, the angels will uh, uh, will pray upon those who uh, uh, eat sahur, which is the action to start uh, fasting during the day. Uh, like those days, uh, thirteen days he is in continuous worshiping. Uh, we will continue our fasting after the break, dear viewers. Stay with us. Dear viewers, welcome back. I'd like to greet you in this night where we're talking about the actions of a Sadiq. May Allah be pleased with him. I'd like to remind you that you can be able to participate on the hashtag that has appeared on the screen, the actions of a Sadiq, to participate in this episode. And you can be able to start to call using the numbers on the screen. This episode is translated into three languages, uh, the language, uh, the English language and French language and also, of course, the Arabic language. You can be able to, to, uh, to hear this uh, program and uh, this program in English. You can be able to change the uh, tone during using the remote control and also for those who would like to uh, listen to this episode in French. You can be able to use the same method, which is remote control. And also, your eminence, we were talking about uh, fasting. And during those days, as you mentioned, there's, there's a lot of people fasting. Uh, is it allowed to fast in those days? Of course, it is allowed. And it is uh, the highest, uh, best actions that be sh been performed during those ten days, and you wonder that there are there are there are some people there uh, you know they're giving false statements and uh, they tell people that he didn't the prophet didn't fast but uh, until the ninth day but no it was proved that prophet muhammad fasted during those days and he drew a wide line and a general base uh, to uh, to perform the, the best actions there are no better actions than uh, those uh, performed in those two, the 10 days. And it's on the top of the best actions to be performed. Uh, 
and therefore you, you wonder that leave the the day of Arafah, but you wonder if those if you if someone doesn't perform fasting at least for one or two days but it's an opportunity to to be taken uh, advantage of uh, to enhance or increase his uh, rewards or and also the other topic is to avoid uh, uh, the forbidden actions and pertaining uh, fasting uh, uh, I don't want the benefit to be missed where where the status of uh, fasting within the Prophet Muhammad's actions. Fasting, uh, how was the fasting in the life of the Prophet? Uh, he, he almost fasted the whole year, and then he would fast uh, six days of, sh of Shawwal, and he, will fa he would fast uh, Mondays and Thursdays of each month, and he explained the uh, merits of uh, those uh, days where the actions were raised to Allah Almighty. Why fasting? Why, why, for example, the why the uh, the actions are not raised while pr pr while uh, praying, but uh, because fasting takes a long time of uh, of uh, observe of observing, and and as the Prophet used to like his actions to be raised while while he's fasting and uh, he uh, m he reminded us that those who performed so will go to heaven or to paradise that he used to fast three days of each month and uh, three two days of each week and then he would uh, of course he would fast uh, ramadan and muharram and shaban the month of shaban and you'll find that the prophet he fast most of the time and most more more moreover he he used to fast sometimes when he is not obliged to fast or when when or we is afflicted with something uh, abu darda said also about muhammad when we were the prophet uh, during a hot day to the to the to the to the level that we used to put our hands on our head, but you see the Prophet Muhammad during these moments is fasting, and this reflects on those companions where they used to uh, be with him all the time. And Abu Bakr uh, used to say, "Yes, I'm fasting," and uh, his daughter Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. She has two situations with the Prophet. And she used to leave uh, the supergatory fast for the status of the prophet and, uh, and uh, pursuing and uh, submitting to his uh, uh, direction as directions and instructions. But when the prophet died, peace be upon him, she continued to fast, and she was not she was not uh, fasted unless it's the fitr or adha days. We have Sheikh Adnan. Peace and blessings be upon you. Peace and blessings be upon you. How are you, Sheikh Tawfiq? Sheikh Adnan, how are you? Greetings to you. It may be, it may, may Allah make it a blessed night for you. There is a point I would like to mention in this uh, program. That the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. And he said when he, he used to prepare Abu Bakr for succession. He tackled so many uh, big uh, uh, tasks. And, and the blessed uh, the blessings uh, are continue to, to be among us until this day. And he uh, could be able to uh, uh, bring back all those who uh, uh, to bring back those to Islam, those who left Islam. That was during. This is for the the status he was earned because of the science and the teachings he earned from Prophet Muhammad. Uh, 
And the two Sahihain, Prophet Muhammad, Atban requested from him to, to pray two prostrations in his house. And other scholars talked about this uh, point. It's to uh, they earn the blessings from those scholars. And, and uh, when, uh, when, whenever uh, uh, such people uh, get into a house, the blessings of science uh, will be among that place. And he may supplicate for uh, those uh, who uh, uh, spread these blessings, supplicate for him uh, to, uh, for health and uh, for more blessings. All uh, scholars know that the impact of the visit of uh, the scholars and the intellect, uh, uh, whatever they visit a house, the sunnah and blessings will uh, will enter along with them. And thank you for this compliment. Thank you. Bless you. May Allah blesses you. Thank you so much. Thank you for this beautiful intervention. May Allah blesses you. Uh, Sheikh Adnan, he brought us back. Uh, if, we, uh, if we can call it the symbol or the hero of this episode. And... Uh, and uh, the, and uh, we have to uh, stress uh, the blessings and the virtues of the actions are committed or taken, undertaken uh, 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 during those days. When the Prophet said, uh, 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 the, uh, the one who performs prayers is invited from the gate of prayers, and the, the one who strives in the cause of Allah is invited through the gate of striving in the cause of Allah. Uh, is there anyone who can be able to be invited for all those gates? And I and I uh, I wish that you can be among them. This is the blessing that Sheikh Adnan uh, mentioned. That is linked, or there are linked. Uh, that uh, those hearts and and minds are linked to the uh, paradise. Within less than one minute, let's talk about uh, pursuing, uh, following uh, funeral. It's it's one of the the uh, the best actions. The symbolism of this action. It is uh, a blessings from Allah Almighty in the beginning and the middle and the end. There are no, uh, there are no. Uh, 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 an end for uh, the person's action by his death, but his, uh, his, he, he will be still be related and linked to his actions even until his death. And those actions will not be uh, will not be ended but until he goes to the grave. It's not uh, we're not talking about the funeral. Uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad said, "If uh, said uh, uh, you have to supplicate for your friend that who died, so can Allah uh, bless him and uh, to uh, to grieve uh, his family and all of these blessings. It doesn't go back to the to the to the dead man, but also go, goes go back to those who who observe them." What the Prophet was asked, what are those uh, two rewards for those who, who perform this? It is like a, a, a whole uh, two mountains worth of uh, advantages and rewards. May Allah bless you. We will continue our talk, Your Eminence, after this break. Dear viewers, short break, we'll be back. Peace be upon you again. We, you are welcome. Before the break, we were talking about the four acts carried out by Abu Bakr, and we uh, completed uh, uh, 
uh, and the following of funerals. I asked a, a small question to the sheikh. Then uh, we go to feeding the uh, people who are in want. The works which uh, uh, entitle the, the person who performs them to uh, be in paradise. As for following the funerals for women, how, how uh, would it be? Uh, is it obligatory to follow the funeral? Actually, the woman, uh, prohibited woman, to, b to visit the uh, uh, graves, uh, uh, even if, it is, if she is allowed to visit once or twice per year, she shouldn't visit the tombs uh, frequently. And if uh, she visits once uh, a time in, uh, in a lifetime, it is okay. But uh, she, she is addressed to a prey on the dead, and he has half of the recompense for the woman. I hope the recompense will, will, recompense will be full as the preying on the dead. Uh, uh, he can get a crowd of recompense, but in uh, following the funeral and uh, supplicate for the dead, he has two crowds, and uh, he should be uh, uh, behind it or uh, before it or uh, on the right side or on the left side. It is a following a funeral in general meaning. Sometimes they move in, uh, from uh, right to left uh, uh, and back and before. It is good and recommended to follow the funeral. And the symbolic thing behind it, your relationship with the Muslim is not uh, terminated by the death. And we mention that even the uh, uh, wife uh, rise uh, shall not be severed by uh, death. And uh, she may uh, wash him and uh, cover, uh, discover uh, her, uh, him, and it happens uh, with the companions. Uh, uh, it, uh, and uh, they, she may uh, kiss his uh, face or forehead, uh, and they say it is prohibited, but no, it is lawful. Ukht Sarah from Saudi Arabia. <coughs> Peace be upon you. I wanted to talk about the acts of a Siddiq. He, he, he was who freed Bilal bin Rabah. And he is the first adult uh, man to believe in uh, Muhammad and the message of our Prophet Muhammad. Thank you for this marvelous program. Thank uh, Dr. Tawfiq Sayyid for this beautiful episode. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Sarah. Our guests insist uh, to talk about uh, Abu Bakr. As she said, Abu Bakr uh, uh, freed seven uh, of the companions, and Bilal, uh, the Mu'adhan of the Prophet, and Abu Bakr uh, paid a lot of money and freed Bilal, and he gave every merit uh, and good thing to uh, Islam. And I want to uh, shed light on Abu Bakr. Why he, is he called a Siddiq? Because God described him in this, who came in a truth and uh, Muhammad and believed him. Uh, and it seems that talking about Abu Bakr is endless. Let us uh, move to the other uh, uh, act. Uh, who uh, uh, gave uh, alms today or who fe uh, fed uh, a poor man. Any uh, alms giving, perhaps a, a, a little alms giving is uh, uh, weighs, uh, weighs more than seven uh, cantars. The principle of uh, alms giving is great. It is not the amount and the uh, credibility and the faith in my heart to, which made me pay uh, these alms. 
why does he donate and uh, the most thing which are beloved by man the uh, money and the, the children if he has a cantar of gold he would have another one uh, if he goes beyond this attribute to pay and to spend this means the uh, a true uh, faith in himself and God give, compensate him for such uh, alms giving. And this uh, act, uh, faith is uh, translated into giving and he is uh, a pontius and uh, there is no day when the sun rises, two angels come give anyone who expends uh, uh, a compensation and uh, give any uh, man who is stingy uh, a destruction and those who pay for the sake of God as if it is an uh, 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 in the uh, wheat ears and uh, the one uh, item uh, becomes seven or, uh, and gave us the example of multiplying uh, recompense and we have Muhammad from Saudi Arabia. Peace be upon you. Uh, yes, we are hearing you. How are you, Mr. Bandar? I uh, greet uh, Sheikh Tawfiq Sayyid, uh, uh, and I hope uh, uh, all blessings for you, and I am your students. Uh, do you have any interference in the topic of this? The uh, remembrance in these uh, virtuous days? Yes, uh, your question, uh, he is talking about uh, uh, what is the best uh, uh, thing about uh, uh, the uh, recall uh, in, in, in these days? The first uh, recall of Allah is to move around uh, with all types of uh, celebrating uh, the name of uh, Allah and to fill our uh, meetings uh, with Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, God the greatest, God is the greatest and praise be to Allah. We have less, less than two minutes. The patient and the visiting of the patient. What is the f uh, difference between the visit and uh, going to his uh, to vis uh, repetition of uh, visits? Uh, the visit or repetition of visiting the patient has a value in our uh, uh, religion. Because the same, it is symbolic to benefit the Muslim when is he is feeble and sick, and this has a lot of uh, virtues when he visits uh, his brother uh, in God as if he is walking in the bath of paradise. And when he visits and repeated visiting to a patient, uh, uh, you uh, and uh, I, I hope that you will be in paradise. If you visit him in the morning, 70,000 angels will accompany you. And, uh, and if he uh, repeated visits of the patients, uh, more than 70,000 angels, and uh, no, no, I don't know anybody who is followed with 70,000. Uh, they are supplicating for him uh, until evening, and the recompense uh, entailed on this is very uh, big. And the three actions, it is uh, useful. The fasting is only the only one which has a relationship with God uh, directly. After we talked on this occasion, the visiting and repetition of visits to the patient, tomorrow on the uh, being uh, good and uh, true in 
uh, you can participate with us in the uh, tomorrow episode, and we will uh, read your uh, participations in Twitter and uh, in the chat, and uh, the uh, relationship and the uh, the uh, being uh, kind and honest with others and. Uh, with Sheikh Tawfiq Saig, whom we will meet at 8 in, uh, according to Mecca timing. We may end uh, uh, less than half a minute with saying Allahu Akbar, Akbar, Allahu Akbar, God is the greatest, there is no God but Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, our viewers, good night.